Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Friday, April 22nd, 2016, around 7.28 in the evening in Bellic, Massachusetts. It's, it's cloudy out now. And it's still raining. The sun's going to go down tomorrow. It's going to be a little cooler. And around 60 or so. Sunday's going to be in the 50s. But sunshine. Damp weather to start next week. Some news to report. Blue Jays outfielder Chris Colabello has been suspended by Major League Baseball for 80 games for testing positive for PEDs. Um, this is not good at all. There's still a lot of players who tr who beat the system for pa um, trying to pass, you know, P um, drug test, tr try to buy s um, cycles of PEDs, buying something uh, undetectable, but there'll still be people caught. And this is not good news for him. And also, Jerry Remy's in Boylston Street in, in Boston, across from Fenway Park, has been converted over to a Tony C's. And that's about it on news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is about the number one male anchor on WBZ TV4 News during the evening. I'm talking about David Wade. David Wade's been with WBZ for many, many years, and he's no stranger to the Boston television market. He spent several years prior on Fox 25. David was born and bred in New England. He was born in Somerville, Massachusetts, and he grew up in the Ball Square area of Somerville before moving to Tuxbury, and he graduated from Tuxbury Memorial High School in 1991. Then he went to Emerson College, majoring in journalism. He was a key he was a journalism major. He got he got like graduated in 1995. That was the same school that his future then his first wife Bianca Della Gaza went. But they did not even meet in college. They met after college when they were working in television. And David got his first job. Around the mid 1990s, after college, he was a reporter for WRNN TV out of Rye, New York. He was with them for a couple of years. Then he went to the Fox affiliate in Albany, New York, Fox 23, and he was a reporter there for maybe one or two years. Then in 1998, David came home to Boston and he worked for Fox 25 the first couple of years David was a like reporter for the Fox 25 news reporting on great stories he also wrote a lot of these stories himself and they were pretty good that got him a lot of Emmy Awards for original writing of major stories. And that was awesome. In the, in the early 2000s, David became the, the, um, the top male anchor on Fox 25 News. He anchored the 10 p.m. news and uh, early evening news from, from 2002 through 2007 with Maria Stephanopoulos, Stef nice, Maria Stefanos, and they were a great team. They had so much great chemistry together. On occasion, David would co-anchor the news with his like first wife, Bianca Della Gaza. They were married for several years. They have one daughter together. And in 2007, David left Fox 25 after his contract 
came up. He and Bianca Della Gaza's contract at the same time, both of them expired, and they were rumors that they both David and Bianca were going to to like be um co-anchored the WBZ um, news in the evening time around 2007 replacing Jack Williams and Lisa Hughes but that fell through at the last minute because um, WBZ stuck with Jack and Lisa because their contracts were like expiring but they renewed them so they didn't go for it but David signed with um, WBZ anyway and Bianca signed with Channel 5 to anchor the morning news and David and Bianca were facing off against each other on the morning newscast in Boston. Eventually David and Bianca got a divorce and David still works for, like for WBZ TV. He, he like was for many years he was paired up with Paula Eben on the morning news. They had they were a dynamic team. On occasion David would do feature stories on uh, on the evening news and eventually from time to time he subbed in on the, like the the evening news on WBZ for Jack Williams and in like 2000 in the early 2010s Dave got promoted to um, number two anchor on the evening news for WBZ and eventually he became the lead anchor of WBZ news in the evening with Lisa Hughes and he's real great on it and David still does great writing and reporting and anchoring and and he's won over 20 local Emmy awards which was is pretty amazing Dave has since been re, David's been since remarried and he's having a great time continuing to host um the news on WBZ I think David's talents should take him one of these days maybe maybe to a major news network like ABC, NBC or CBS or maybe um, Fox or CNN because he's got great talent and stuff and he's a great you know he, great, um, um, he does writes great news stories so he, he could be um, going to network news in a few years you never know if he wants to do that but he probably would be great at it and that's about it on him. And that's about it on these video blogs, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus for the day. Tomorrow, you are going to get three more video blogs. First video blog will be the continuation of the top 50 greatest, N I mean the top 70 NBA greatest players of all time from number 30 to 21. Second video blog will be about the history of the N. HL on NBC and the third and final video blog on life will be about the WWE Hall of Fame manager Precious Paul Ellery who was famous for managing the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom and the Alley and he always carried the Wall Street Journal around. Keep calm everybody, I'm a Julie Bunny guy, Molly Rose Blood of the BCCO Rocks and that's nice legs, Elizabeth Hart so so stunning, she's the best, Amy Swenzi Rocks, Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has that sweet southern accent, Lisa Bell is the best, and in the words of the w former of WWE Hall of Famer, the late great Yokozuna, Banzai! Good night everybody, see ya.